Good morning everyone and welcome back to another weekly vlog. Hello, if you are new, my name is Meg. I'm cabin crew for a UK airline and I do post predominantly travel vlogs, but I also post fashion and home content as well. This weekly vlog is gonna be a little bit of a mixture of both. So today is Monday and it is my third day of three days off. I got back from Tokyo late on Friday night. I would say today is actually the first day that I felt alive, like honestly. I took Barney with me, which you will have seen if you watch the vlog, because it will already be up by the time you watch this. We were both absolutely dead on Saturday. Yesterday we were a bit better, but still a little bit like we've got no energy. Today's like the first day that I felt alive, which is good because I'm back to work tomorrow. However, I just have a two day six, which is two days, six sectors. Tomorrow I have a, what is it that I've got? Berlin there and back. And then I go to Manchester and I night stop in Manchester. You guys will know that I love Manchester. I don't have very long there. I get there like mid to late afternoon. Probably just have a shower, wash my hair, get some dinner and go to sleep, to be honest with you. And then on Wednesday, I have another three sectors. I go back to Heathrow from Manchester and then I have, feel like it's a roam there and back. I think that's what it is. But I finish at about quarter to six and England are playing in the semi-final against Netherlands at 8 p.m. So I'm gonna race to get home, obviously not actually racing, I will drive safely, but I am gonna be going straight home to watch the football. And then I actually have five days of annual leave. So have some time off, which is needed. On Thursday, I'm probably not gonna be doing much, probably just cleaning. But on Friday, my brother is actually coming to visit to see the house. He obviously lives in Dorset where the rest of my family live. So he hasn't yet seen the house that we bought in December 2022. He's gonna come and see it and we're gonna go out for lunch as well. I have a nice close relationship with my brother, so it will be nice for him to come and see my house. I'm excited for that. And then I will probably end the vlog on Friday. So it will just be a Monday to Friday vlog. Today, I am just about to go to the gym. I feel like I haven't been to the gym in so long. Then I am gonna go home, have some lunch. I have ordered a new chest of drawers from Ikea, which is being delivered to Tesco in Chichester today between four and six. So I'm gonna go and pick that up hopefully this afternoon. Hopefully I can lift it and can get it in my car. Other than that, I need to unpack my case from Tokyo. Again, I feel like I need to say this every time I do take my dirty washing out, but obviously I leave like shoes and bags and things in there. So I need to unpack that and repack it for Manchester. I'm gonna clean the bathroom. I did clean the lounge and the kitchen yesterday, so it's just upstairs really that needs a bit of a clean. And then hopefully we'll attempt to assemble my drawers, maybe this evening. I'm gonna make a risotto for dinner. And then I have an early start tomorrow. I'm getting up at 3 a.m. So I'll probably try and have an early night. I was actually awake before 6 a.m. this morning because Barney and I went to bed at 8 p.m. last night. I'm pretty sure we were asleep more or less straight away. So I've still had like a decent amount of sleep. Because I woke up early, I'll probably be able to go to bed quite early, ready for my early start tomorrow. It is only two days, six sectors, so it's fine. I can't complain. Flights are going to feel like lightning quick compared to the Tokyo flight. It was 13 hours going out, 15 hours coming back. Did get a nice long break, but of course, when I get the long breaks, I can't sleep on them. Anyway, enough about that. Let's go to the gym and have a nice productive Monday. Welcome to the oven. So for ages, I've been meaning to clean my oven, but it's hard trying to coordinate it with a night where we're not gonna need it. But I'm making a risotto tonight, which doesn't require use of the oven. So I thought I'm gonna take the opportunity to clean it. I've got this oven pride set that I got off of Amazon and it basically comes with these bags and then the cleaning solution. And essentially you just put 
your oven trays into the bag with the solution and you leave it overnight and it's supposed to completely clean them of all of the grime. It says add half to three quarters of the solution into the bag, remove air from the bag and seal, fold around the racks then tilt the bag to coat the trays, leave to soak for four hours ideally overnight. Oh okay, but it only needs to be soaking for four hours. You should just put the solution in on its own, you don't mix it with anything. Half to three quarters of the solution, so most of it then. Okay, let's, let's do this. I'm gonna put the big bottom tray in there. Or two racks, these aren't as dirty to be fair. Okay, they are a bit grimy, <laughs> but they're not as bad as that bottom one that I just put in. It says not to put more than two racks in, but I, I'm gonna put all three in. Um, otherwise I feel like it's just a bit of a waste of time. I'm gonna put my gloves on to pour the solution just in case I get it over myself. Let me just double check that I know what I'm doing. Add half to three quarters of the solution, remove air and seal. Okay, half to three quarters. You know what, I feel like I wanna just put it all in and then just use a normal oven cleaner for the actual oven, because I do have an oven cleaner. I've gone for it, I've put it all in. Remove the air, peel it put it outside and in about maybe in a few hours I'm going to flip it so that it gets all of the racks and now I am going to spray the inside of the oven with my SIF oven cleaner. This is the one. The window as well. We're going to leave that for half an hour. Okay so now we're going to clean the bathroom. I bought my flash bleach spray my pink stuff multi-purpose just for like the window sill and things. I've got a sponge, I've got a cloth for my pink stuff. We also have the Zaflora power bathroom which I will probably use as well. I've got a scrub mummy. Need multiple different sponges for different products. So I have my Viacal which is what I use to get rid of my lime scale. Right now the sides are looking a little bit messy just with things everywhere so let's clear those away first before we clean. brush to get around the edges of the tap. A little bit of mould here. I'm constantly trying to get rid of it. But what I usually do is get a bit of tissue, soak it in bleach and stick it to it. So that's what I'm going to do today. like this and then kind of like fold it into like a long kind of tube stick it to the bleach use the Sephora bathroom cleaner to clean out our toothbrush holder I literally love the smell of this Sephora cleaner I guess it is it's 5 p.m. and I am just about to drive to Tesco to get my IKEA parcel don't ask me why I've decided to leave the house at this ungodly hour well actually no do ask me because the reason I'm leaving at this hour is because I had no choice my parcel wasn't due to be delivered until between four and six which was already a disgusting time to be driving into Chichester but they text me at because I wasn't going to leave until I actually knew it was going to be there sort of thing they text me at seven minutes past four saying that they would be there in 25 minutes 
because they've been delayed in traffic and I'm like yeah that's what you get for deciding to drop something off between 4 and bloody 6 p.m I'm joking obviously they probably had loads of deliveries to do today but it's now 5 p.m and I'm only just leaving the house I still haven't actually had a text to say that it's there but I'm assuming it is because they said they'd be 25 minutes at 5 past 4 so it's gonna take me probably about 20 minutes to get there um with Chichester traffic at this time I'm gonna go and get that hopefully I can lift it okay and I can get it in my car because if not I'll be calling Barney and he'll have to finish work early to come and help me I'm also gonna run in Tesco while I'm there and just grab a couple of things for dinner that we still need I might get like something sweet for dessert me and Barney are so bad we always want something sweet after dinner but I, I'm not gonna get like a full-on dessert I'm just gonna get like I don't know like a chocolate bar or something i literally just can't live without a sweet thing after dinner and then i probably won't get home until the same time as barney to be honest i imagine at this point i'm probably not going to be home till about six i probably won't speak to you again until i get to manchester tomorrow so i have no idea whereabouts in tesco i actually have to go to get this delivery but hopefully it's well signposted because i don't even ever go to tesco i always go to sainsbury's also it's a very dull miserable day today i'm wearing a jumper in july which is just criminal where is the british summer you ask who knows i've packed my case for manchester i haven't packed a lot because i'm not there for very long i've literally just put an, one outfit in there so i didn't film that because it was literally the most boring packing experience ever because i barely packed anything now we are about to dive head first into 5 p.m rush hour traffic through chichester there's nothing quite like it honestly i am gonna go so i will see you all probably tomorrow good afternoon i want to say it's like almost 5 p.m i am in manchester i've just got to my room i've literally just quickly changed i haven't had a shower yet because i'm gonna have one later and i'm gonna wash my hair i thought i want to go to primark and i looked up when it shuts and it doesn't shut till nine in manchester which is stunning behavior i am gonna go there just have a look around i'm not gonna go crazy but i just feel like it's been a while since i've been and i really want to go then i am probably gonna get some snacks and then I'm gonna come back. I'll either get something for dinner while I'm out or I'll order something when I get back. And then I'm just gonna have a shower, wash my hair and have an early night because I've been awake since 3 a.m. So, and wake up is 5.30 tomorrow morning. So it's another semi early wake up, not quite as early as today, but still an early one. Day's been fine, got up at three, got to work at like half five, started at six. We did Berlin there and back, which was fine. And then we've just done the Manchester. Not really any delays today, we've kind of more or less been on time, but obviously we were driving to this hotel during rush hour, so it took us a while to get here. But we're here now, and yeah, I'm going to go to Primark, so let's go. Well, that was uneventful. Honestly, I think that's like the least amount that I've ever bought from Primark in my life. I don't know what it was. I really wanted to go and I got there and I walked in and I, I just suddenly had this feeling of like, I can't be bothered. Like I can't be bothered to shop right now. So I only got two things and they're quite boring, but I'm going to show you anyway. I got some little, a pack of five crew socks because I'm really just like favouring crew socks lately over ankle socks. There's a pair with a little bear on them. There's a red pair, a chocolate brown pair, a white pair, and then a beige pair, which are all kind of colours that I do wear. I saw these pyjamas and honestly, I don't, I don't need another pair of pyjamas, but I saw these and I just had to. They are Eeyore pyjamas, and Eeyore is literally one of my favourite Disney characters. So you've got him on this little baby blue t-shirt, and then the shorts. I did get a size large because I like pyjamas to be oversized, but the shorts are white, and they've got Eeyore on, and it says... Keep looking for sunshine, lazy days, thanks for noticing me. And I just thought that is such a cute pair of pyjamas. I have to get them. And shortly, I am going to be putting those on. I don't know if I can be bothered to wash my hair. Don't judge me. I've ordered some dinner on delivery. I've ordered like a pesto pasta with cheesy garlic bread and a Coke Zero. 
um, just really fancy that I suddenly feel like absolutely ravenous. I've ordered it from an Italian restaurant, which is literally down the road, but I've, I've ordered it for a delivery because I can't be bothered to go back out. I obviously need to go down to reception to collect it. So I'm not gonna get my pajamas on until after I've had dinner. I'm gonna have a shower and like do my skincare and everything. This hotel comes with biscuits. So I might have a cup of tea and biscuits after my dinner. And that's about it. Sorry, I literally didn't film anything while I was out. Um, oh, also, I've got two new lip products. I got the Revolution uh, Pout Tint in Sweetie Coral. So this is like basically a lip product that actually colours your lips. And then I also got the Revolution, what is this called? Glaze Lip Oil with Cherry Seed Oil and Hyaluronic a la Bears, whatever that is so that's a lip oil just because i if i was in need of a new lip product i'm kind of running out of my current one that i've got i've not tried a lip oil so i thought i'll try that yeah i literally went to primark went to boots and that was it my food is going to be delivered maybe in the next like half an hour I'm just gonna wait for that i'll show you it when it arrives i'm very excited for it we are gonna chill out for the evening Dinner is served. We've got cheesy garlic bread. We've got pesto pasta, and we have a Coke Zero. Let's eat. going to give you a very quick update the football is on although it's half time at the moment i think it's literally about to start again i'm just making myself some weetabix it's like half eight so we were delayed basically we were meant to land at quarter past five and we didn't land till six so i actually didn't get home until half eight basically i've just said it's half eight it's not it's nine I didn't miss it because i was listening to it on the radio but i've just put it on the tv i'm just making myself some weetabix and then i'm gonna go and watch the second half on the sofa i'll give you a more in-depth update tomorrow i've washed my hair managed to do that i've got my england top on come on england just coming home let's go watch the second half Woo! Yes! Come on, England! We are in the finals of the Euros. Hello, good morning. I'm back in my car because I'm going to the gym. Last night was a bit of a like, blah, 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 just talking at you. So basically, I, yeah, I was meant to finish at like quarter to six. So originally i was going to be home in time to sit down and watch the football from the start but basically what happened is um so we came in from manchester and then our flight crew that were flying us to rome were coming in from somewhere else too and they basically landed late from where they were coming in from but um the rules for pilots are kind of different to cabin crew if we were late coming in and we missed like our point where there's no turning back sort of thing they would have just taken us off the flight and replaced us but with pilots especially given the fact that they're quite short of pilots at the moment we waited for them so we took off we we're meant to take off at 10 past 11 we didn't take off until i think it was midday actually so it wasn't that late and we did make up some of the time but not quite enough so yeah we ended up taking off from we obviously landed in rome late so we took off from rome late and then we didn't land at Heathrow until six and we were supposed to land at quarter past five. So I didn't actually get in my car to drive home until about 20 to seven. Obviously the football was starting at eight. So I literally uh, listened to the first half on the radio in my car 
and then just as i got home there was like 10 minutes left of the game so i put it on on my phone and got in the shower and washed my hair and everything just managed to catch the second half on the tv and i just made myself some wheat bits because we didn't really have much in and i was peckish but not enough to eat like a full meal yes we won we won 2-1 against netherlands so we are now playing in the euros final again on sunday which i'm so excited about i don't know if we've got a chance against spain i'm gonna be honest but i've got to have hope today i am going to the gym then i'm gonna go to the shop get some bits for dinner get something for lunch and then i'm just gonna kind of clean the house the house isn't that dirty because i did clean downstairs on the weekend but my brother's coming to see the house tomorrow so obviously i want it to be like perfect so i'm just gonna clean everywhere basically tidy up tidy up any clothes that are on the floor in the spare bedroom and all things like that honestly i feel like on my days off all i seem to do is go to the gym do a food shop and clean my house but to be honest that is most of the time that is all i do on my days off because i always say i like being at home when i'm off because obviously my job means that i'm away from home a lot and also i am quite an introvert anyway like i can just be by myself and enjoy it like i don't get bored i like my own company my social life is when i'm down route obviously i do do things occasionally at home but most of the time i'm a home girl also i am still editing my tokyo vlog which has already gone up by the time you watch this but i haven't finished editing it yet so i will be doing that today as well and i'm also off to joburg next week so i'm gonna have a bit of a party week next week hopefully if the crew are up for it let's go to the gym We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna Picking up our love friends, fill up the car to lip bands because we wanna We wanna Yeah, we just wanna have fun, the trunk's full of wine We're gonna stay up, have the time of our lives The night is in young, don't need anybody else afternoon i'm just sitting here eating some strawberries and look at these strawberries they're all like massive and like kind of out of shape and i love them i'm also drinking the orange squeeze olipop which guys i can't lie this is probably the only one out of the four that i bought that i liked so if any of you watched my previous vlog not my tokyo one but the one before that the weekly vlog where i was in houston and i bought four olipops i got the vintage cola the barbie peaches and cream the lemon and lime i think it was and this one and the vintage cola one i didn't even end up finishing because it just had this really weird aftertaste to it that i wasn't a fan of the peaches and cream one was nice but it wasn't something i'd i'd probably have again lemon and lime one pretty much just tasted like lilt if any of you know what Lil is. This one actually tastes like Fanta, so this is probably my favourite one out of all four of them. But personally, I can't say I get the hype. I'd rather just buy a normal fizzy drink. I thought I would show you, because I'm currently editing my Tokyo vlog, and I sometimes get people asking me what like editing software I use and like how I get my music and things like that. So I thought I'd show you a little bit of behind the scenes footage of me editing excuse the face of mine that it's slopped on i'm very almost finished i'm literally just editing this last clip of me ending the vlog which you guys will have already seen anyway so you'll know what i'm talking about the editing software that i use is just imovie oh oh no that's not a very flattering face that's a bit better oh oh no let me just go to the end where i'm smiling and let's just stop it there for a minute Right, I've had to just scroll to the end of the video because it kept going on to parts of the video that weren't very flattering. But yeah, this is what I use to edit. It's just iMovie. Um, you can just download it. I have a uh, MacBook Air. I did actually look at getting Final Cut Pro, but it's £300, which I think is a bit unreasonable. You can also download it, but I think you have to pay for it monthly. So I'm just, I mean... As much as I would love to be able to edit my videos a bit better, like, one thing that annoys me about iMovie is when I want to put, like, a title on, let's say, the selection of titles that you can use are just not that good. Like, the fonts aren't very good. 
the actual position of them isn't very good. So that's one thing that I actually really don't like about iMovie. I don't really like the selection of transitions. They're not that great, to be honest. The ones that I use probably the most are these two bottom ones, Cross Zoom and Ripple. Um, but I just find, I find iMovie very basic and it was fine when I was starting out, but now that I'm kind of, not that I've, not that I'm big now, but now that I'm getting more into YouTube, I kind of want to use something a bit more advanced, but I'm just not willing to pay £300. And the, I did try and download the free trial of Final Cut Pro, but it wouldn't let me because my MacBook wasn't up to date enough. And then when I tried to update it, it basically told me that I didn't have enough space to update it. So I am going to look into it because I would like to try Final Cut Pro and see what I think. I did used to use Final Cut Pro at uni when we used to edit our show reels, And I remember finding it so difficult. But I think that was before I had any experience of editing anything. So I think I would find it a bit easier to get my head around now. And then for my music, I have a subscription to this website. It's called Epidemic Sound. Um, it is, I want to say it's like £10 a month. I only got this maybe like a year ago um, because I used to use this YouTube um, account which you could basically use their music as long as you put the link in the bio in your bio but I kept forgetting to put the link in my bio and I kept getting copyrighted on all my videos and there's a girl who doesn't vlog anymore but she used to vlog who works for the same airline as me she's called Chloe Gemma some of you probably watched her and she had a subscription to this website. So I basically copied her and signed up. And you can get like different music, sound effects. And literally I have it obviously logged into my YouTube channel. And then it just gives me lots of different like suggestions for music. And all you do is click this little download button here. And then it goes to your Apple Music. And then you can just literally go on to iMovie. And then you click on this download button here and it will bring up like all of your files. So music that's saved to your laptop, any videos that you've um, put on your laptop. So here is some of my music selections and you literally just click on it and then click import selected and it will come up here. So these green ones here are music and then you literally just drag it into the bit that you want to put music over. So it's very simple, but yeah, I am looking to upgrade, but that is what, literally all I use. Um, iMovie is free to download. Epidemic Sound I do pay for. Um, the app that I use to make my thumbnails is Canva, which I feel like a lot of people use. And that's about it. I'm very basic, guys. Sorry if that's not what you were expecting. Anyway, I have done some cleaning. I've hoovered. I still want to mop the floors, but... I got a little bit peckish, so I was like, I'm going to have some strawberries. It's like half four, so Barney will probably be home in like an hour or so. I probably won't speak to you again until tomorrow now when I'm waiting for my brother to arrive. So I'll see you then. Hello. Good morning. Still the morning. It is Friday today. My brother is just about to arrive. He sent me his live location and he's not far away, so... I thought I would just quickly come on and say hello. I've got on this t-shirt that I got in Primark and these blue Topshop Joni jeans. Um, he's gonna come over, I'm gonna give him a little house tour and we're gonna go for lunch. I don't know where we're gonna go yet. It's not a very nice day. Like, it's not raining, but it's just very dull and not very sunny. And I feel like the place that I was gonna suggest we would go has like a really nice like outdoor seating on the water. We could still go there. But obviously it would be nicer if it was a nice day. So I don't really know where we're going to go. But there's lots of pubs in Chichester and Arundel around where we live. So I don't know how much footage I'll get. Because I might just be lost in conversation with him. I haven't seen him for a while. I'll speak to you all later on.
I'm too good for my own good. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. I'll be there in a minute, even though. didn't actually intend to vlog for this long I guess I haven't really vlogged today yesterday when I was filling up my drawers my phone died and I didn't just want to like leave it really abruptly so I thought I'd quickly come on and end the vlog today Barney's just out playing golf at the moment but we went out for breakfast this morning to a place called Boston Tea Party I had some pancakes with blueberry compote or compote however you say it, I can't remember how you say it. And it came with natural yogurt, which I wasn't sure on, but it was actually quite nice, and maple syrup, and we had some hash browns on the side. And then we went to the supermarket just to get some bits for dinner, and we ended up popping into the range whilst we were there because we needed some more clothes hangers because as I was filling up my drawers, I noticed that I'm, I can't fit everything in them, so I'm gonna have to hang some things up that were originally in drawers. I needed to get some more clothes hangers, so we went to the range and I got a pack of 10 and Barney got some as well. Whilst we were there, we got a couple of other bits, which I thought I'd just show you before I end the vlog. So we got this cute little black, kind of like jug looking vase for our table. I did buy a vase a few months ago, but it doesn't really go with the table the way that I thought it would. And this black one goes a lot better. Barney actually chose this. So next to that one on the table, we're going to put this little one. It's like a cream little vase. Got two packs of these little fake kind of like pampas grass and like um, I ivory and just like dried kind of like flowers and leaves to go in both of those. So I am just about to put these on the table and rearrange the flowers. Yesterday I went for lunch with my brother, which was lovely. We had pizza. I didn't actually have dinner last night because I was still so full from lunch. Obviously you will have seen in the evening, Barney and I put my drawers up and then I filled them up. Anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you don't wanna miss future vlogs. I will see you all in my next video.